Hi, this is Kumarish again, back with the final part of our four video series. In this, I will be demonstrating how to create an A-B test. It involves four basic steps. Selecting a website, using the visual editor to create variations, goal creation, and starting the campaign. You can start creating the campaign from the A-B test option on the left-hand navigation bar. Once you click on the Create button on the top right of your screen, you will get an option to enter the URL on which you want to test. Let's take an example of wingify.com for our instance. You'd also have to pick an existing hypothesis, which has been derived using the track and analyze sections, which we spoke about in our earlier videos. For details on additional options, you can find the link to a resource in the description below. If you want to target a certain segment of your audience, you can use a segmentation gallery, which offers multiple preset options, and you can create your own custom segments as well. You can use the link to a resource article in the description for more details. After you click next, you will see your URL loading up in the visual editor. The visual editor is WYSIWYG in nature, which means what you see is what you get and all the changes you make are saved in the active variation real-time. You can modify different elements like text, color, position of CTA, etc. I will change the headline from we love technology to we really love technology for our example. We can also create goals on our call to action buttons from the editor itself. All I have to do is click on the button and choose track clicks and click on done. You can create as many variations as you want to a single campaign. You can also navigate to other pages on the website within the editor itself. Simply click on the navigate option and the editor will act as a normal browser. Once you reach the page you want to create a variation on you can move back to the design mode and start making changes. Once you're done making the changes, click next here and you will get options to create goals and set up parameters for your campaign. A key point to note here is that VWO uses a Bayesian statistics engine, which is far more accurate than any other tool out there. It takes into account the number of visitors tracked in the campaign, your current conversion rate, the expected lift and conversion rate, the desired speed of the campaign, and then show the estimated duration for your campaign. After creating the goals and setting up the parameters, you get to choose what percentage of the total site traffic should be exposed to this campaign. Heat maps are enabled by default. VWO also offers integrations with third-party tools like Google Analytics, Universal Analytics, Google Tag Manager, and Clicktail. You can read more about the available integrations from the link shared in the description below. You may also choose one or more of these advanced options like enabling scheduling campaigns, including multiple domains, allocating different traffic sources variations and control, hosting JavaScript on your servers, and enabling post-segmentation of reports. Please note that self-hosting and post-segmentation of reports are enterprise features only available with our enterprise plans. You may contact our sales team for more details. Once you hit finish, your campaign is created, and all you need to do now is to add the VW Smart Code in the head section of your website. In order to do so, just click on the settings icon, and click on the smart code option to access the smart code. You can also send the code to your developer using the send to developer option. And here you go, your A-B testing campaign is ready. Please feel free to send an email to our support team for any technical queries at support at vw.com. Looking for a personalized enterprise demo? Contact our sales team at sales at wingify.com. Happy testing everyone.